So you let it simmer on high for, I think like just five minutes, really high heat for a little more. I try to scrape up all the bits on the side. Then I add the chicken back and then I let it cook uncovered for maybe like 20 minutes. And then the sauce will thicken and it's just a really nice glaze. And then I make rice in the meantime. And that is how I make chicken adobo. It's, you know, it's not always the same. You guys might have a different chicken adobo <laughs> recipe. And I just, this is how I make it. Traditionally, you're supposed to use black peppercorns, but it is a surprise to bite into those black peppercorns. So I just salt and pepper the chicken ahead of time and then garlic powder. I, I don't use black peppercorns. <laughs> My kids would be so traumatized, I think, and then would never want to eat this again. So if you guys put black peppercorns in your chicken adobo, put black peppercorn in the comments. All right, it's been simmering on medium heat for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna turn it over. And I'm gonna go ahead and cover it, but just leave the lid kind of ajar to let some of the heat escape. This is how it thickens. I also added a little sugar to make it sweeter. And just pull that up. All right, and that is it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. <clears throat> so I flipped it over halfway and put it down some more. The sauce has thickened quite nicely. Go ahead and turn off the heat. I'll go ahead and leave it in the pan. Oops, on the stove. I'll cover it a little bit. And then I have the rice going. It's not really quite dinner time, but it'll be ready once we sit down. Um, but yeah, that is my chicken adobo. Just a small serving because the kids, I mean, they are like, they eat like birds. They really don't eat a lot and I hate having all these leftovers. I can only feed them leftovers so much, so. All right, here's my gingerbread house set up for the kids. I got this mini village gingerbread kit because it comes with four and they're really small. This is the inside, one of the bases. And I didn't realize it comes with frosting and some decorative little stickers and some candy. I actually already made frosting. It was my youngest son's birthday, so I just made some homemade frosting. And then I have all this leftover Halloween candy. This is what I use to decorate the gingerbread house. And I have some sprinkles here, Christmas sprinkles. And then I have this Halloween one, the cupcakes. And then it has this, and I also have this sparkle gel icing. No sprinkles, just random sprinkles. Here, cupcake cups. Okay, some of you ask what I do with the boxes. So I'm actually using my Dior boxes to hold the gingerbread <laughs> houses for the kids. Oh, oh. So we gotta put the gingerbread house together Whoa. and then there's frosting. That's I'll put it together and then you can decorate That's with all this. And then show the box so you guys can see what it looks like. Wow. wow. Yeah, there's a lot of gingerbread oh, houses. Oh, yeah, so cool. You need instructions. I'll just glue it together. Isn't that so cool? No, no, no you can just follow <laughs> these, right, Mommy? Yep. Okay, let's this put it together. One, this one, this one, yep. this one. Do it like this. Mm -hmm. And then you get this piece and you put it on this side. Wow. What are you guys doing with the candy? Um, I'm opening it. Caleb, do it like this. <laughs> Alright, don't I judge know. my fridge. Here is one gingerbread house. Oh no, this one kind of fell. And then this one, I have it in the fridge to cool down, but we gotta fix this one. Ooh, looks Where good. did all the gumdrops go? Mom, let me see mommy. Okay, I'll show you when I'm done. Look, I'm just doing all the gingerbread houses that you guys did. There's a plain one. Here, you wanna work on this one next? Are you done with this one? Yeah. Wow. Ooh, I like your Tootsie Roll logs. That's so cool. Look at your gingerbread house, so cute. You got a chocolate door. Mama, you know, Mama, can you? Here, you want to put more sprinkles on this side? Mama, I want to try. I just want to try. Okay. Say hi. Hi. Thank you. I just want to try. Okay, go ahead. You can hold it. Ooh, hi. Let's <laughs> see, Mommy. Hi, Mommy. Come and say hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> 
Okay, show us your gingerbread hey, house. Hey, Mommy, Mom has a cooler gingerbread house than me. That's okay. That one was cooling. That one was mine, technically. He was just working on it. Cool. Okay, let's put sprinkles on the roof. Okay, now put this over here in the wavy lines. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The two that my older son made. And, ooh. Can you tell me about your gingerbread house? How did you decorate it? I did this first and I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I know that I just did this first. Mm -hmm. And then we did this one. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Yeah, we did. <laughs> hey everyone, I am going to put up my Christmas tree because I'm just ready for Christmas. So this is what we're working with back here. This is the backdrop of my videos. Those are all the advent calendars that I unboxed recently. So I just want to put up my Christmas tree and decorate and show you kind of how I decorate it. I use a lot of found items, meaning the ribbons and packaging and bows that I get when my orders are gift wrapped. One thing that I showed was this Dior star ornament. This was a gift with purchase. And I always have a lot of promo codes on my Instagram, by the way, follow me on Instagram, it's at a heated mess. Every time there's a great deal or promo, I'll put it on my Instagram story so you can get all these for free. So these are free. I actually top my mini Christmas tree with this star and then you know all the other ornaments the diptyque advent calendar that's it right there i want to leave this rituals advent calendar up here because it's i just think it's the prettiest advent calendar of all of them it's already a decoration in and of itself and so i take a lot of these trimmings you know like the chanel and dior packaging and ribbons to decorate the tree these are the dior ornaments that were gift with purchase and then they came up with a new one this year that I already got so I'll include those but yeah that is what we have here so this is the before and I will show you the after all right guys I'm going to take you up into the attic because this is where I store my Christmas tree you can't even see it <laughs> the switch for the light is downstairs and I forgot to turn it on but this is my Christmas tree you can see it's like iridescent it's under the plastic this is literally the only thing that I store here. So let's go ahead and bring this downstairs. All right, guys, this is where we are at. I brought the tree down and I love this tree because it lights up already on its own and it's in two pieces. You don't have to do the individual branches, but let me go ahead and put this in here. Ta-da! <laughs> all right, so it's not decorated at all. And oh my gosh, there's something going on with the lighting, but so here it is lit up. Yes, we know this is a mess. I had to move over the ritual advent calendar while I put up all the ornaments. Okay, so I got this mirrored dresser. If I film back here, you see the reflection. And so I was like, okay, eventually I will have enough camellias covering it that you won't see the reflection. But inside is where I keep a lot of the ribbons and ornaments. This is an ornament from Avon with a makeup sponge inside and just random ribbons. And so this is what I, you know, trim my tree with. So this, these were completely full. These, I mean, they're still kind of full, but they were completely full to the brim. And so right now it's all on the side here. Please excuse the mess, but yeah, so it's all here in a pile. So these were the holiday camellias from last year. And, and then this is the red holiday ribbon. I don't know if red will go. These are all the ribbons folded up. Holiday ribbons throughout the years for Chanel. And then more camellias. And then this stack, this is my favorite. <laughs> so these are all the mini Chanel shopping bags. When you make a purchase at a Chanel beauty boutique, they usually include the samples in these tiny little shopping bags. Look how cute, little baby bags. You know, I open these up and then I hang them all over the tree and they're just so cute. Some of them still have the ribbons attached. This is last year's holiday ribbon. So I have those. And then I have a bunch of the Dior yellow stars. These are legit metal stars. These Dior stars adorn all the shopping bags when you shop at the boutique. So I have been just kind of collecting them. This is my little letter board. This came with the FabFitFuns. You know, I'm not gonna use all of this stuff. Some of these, like the red this year for Chanel is so pretty. I just don't know if it'll really fit. 
they had red and then pink so i think the pink might work because it's got the pink and gold so yeah we'll see we'll see what works on the tree this was the diptyque ornament from last year's diptyque advent calendar there were i think six of them and then the diptyque advent calendar this year also included i think just three so i'll include those i just love these little trimmings this is last year's dior holiday ribbon and then this was last year's tag it's i think it's meant to be a you know like a gift tag for gift packaging but this i put on my tree also okay these are the red camellias for this year chanel camellias and then i have these two <laughs> ornaments these aren't really luxury but they're so cute a lot of beauty brands will make ornament decorations or like stocking stuffers so this fresh beauty it's a lip balm trio and then beauty blender has this beauty blender ornament that is uh, one of their sponges in an ice cream scoop container stand so these are so cute so i'll put these up on the tree so these were the chanel ornaments that were part of last year's just gift with purchase chanel number no. five they had their space theme i don't know moon theme so i have two of those and then I really love these. These are just little leather tag stars. This is from, these two are from Dress Up Your Purse. I have a collab with Dress Up Your Purse store. They're the ones who very kindly gift me the chains and other accessories to work with your purse. So I can turn a lot of, you know, toiletry pouch or, or cosmetic bag into a crossbody bag. So these are by Dress Up Your Purse, super cute. These four came from last year. Yeah, this one with the hole in it. I actually use as the tree topper, like on the top of the tree right there, because I didn't have the white ones. I think I got these later. So they did the same thing this year and it, you can tell it's a little different design this year. Last year's was like shooting stars and then this year is just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but yeah, super cute. Actually, it still has the gift inside. There's a mini perfume in here. And I always put the promo codes on my Instagram and my YouTube community tab for the promo for this free ornament. So check that out and follow me on there and turn on notifications because these Dior promos sell out fast. But I always jump on these promos that include the star ornament because it's so cute. All right, so that is what I'm working with here. So we're gonna go ahead and decorate this tree. All right, and this is the finished product. The star is slightly askew. That's okay. I'll put the Rituals advent calendar back here. I have my other advent calendars. I plan to do a video ranking all of them. So please stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of a mess, but that is all right. I'll let me plug it in. Okay, so you see the magic. And then I gotta do this. <laughs> By the way, this fell and I totally tripped on it. So the light got knocked loose. All right, you can't really tell when there's other lights. You can't really tell when that's lit up, but there you go. The lighting is so crazy on this camera. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so let me show you. So the star, that's the star from last year. Here is this year's ornament star, and then last year's. And these two are closer, you can see it's a shooting star, and then whatever this theme is, these little Chanel bags are so cute for samples. I threw the red Chanel camellias from this year on here, though it doesn't really match. It kind of sticks out like a sore thumb, but that is okay too. This is this year's Diptyque holiday ornament that was part of the advent calendar. And then this was last year's. I like last year's design better. Each one was a little animal. This one is a weird stone, I don't know, modern design, contemporary. There's my little board. Here's one of the holiday sets. And I have another one on the way, I believe. This was another little sample holder. I just thought it was so cute. There's some camellias here, the Dior packaging from last year. And then this is the Dior Beauty holiday packaging for this year. All right, so not too bad. It's still relatively early December. I don't know when I'm gonna get this up, but I finally have my tree. So this will be up until probably well into February. But I hope you enjoyed my little holiday decorating. Let me know how many trees you guys have in your home. <laughs> Some people have multiple trees also. If you have kids, you know what I mean. All right, well, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my tree decorating video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.